Right. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the final, like actually final, Strange Long Live show. We said this last time when it was the last Dosab one, but Lainey Taylor has no more books other than ones you can't buy. So this is the last one. And today we will be discussing Muse of Nightmares by Lady Taylor, which Ro is three minutes from the end of. And so she will tune in in like three minutes time when she's finished it. Um, it's a bra brave choice finishing this book on a live. That's- Oh my God. That's, <laughs> that's ballsy. Um, Emotional. Do what we normally do. Start with non-spoilery, star rating, first thoughts. I imagine we'll get into spoilers very quickly. We will obviously say when we're going into spoilers, so you can leave if you've not read it. But who wants to go first? I can go first. <laughs> I was like, someone go. <laughs> go I was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I gave it five stars again, um, which this was a reread, so I gave it five stars. And actually, I also listened to the audiobook for like the reread, because the first time I just read them physically. And I really liked the audiobook. I mean, I'm a big fan of Steve West, who's the narrator. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I feel like it just added to kind of the like magic of it. Um, and yeah. I'm still undecided whether Strange or Muse is my favorite. I think it might be Muse just because I like so certain characters' sort of arcs um, yeah. throughout the book. And I don't know, I feel like I was more invested in the relationship in this book as well between Lazo yeah. and Sarai. Um, I, I, I think I tend to like like development of relationships more than like when they first meet. Um, yeah, I like all the um, Easter eggs. <laughs> Yeah. Um, which I'm sure we'll get to. Uh, yeah, and I just like the plot, and I really like the way Lainey Taylor sort of weaves together almost two storylines. And and you don't. And at first, you think, oh, "Why have we got this random thing?" But then it just fits together so perfectly, and I think that really shows her kind of talent as a writer. I think we might have a row. You might have a row but yeah no i completely agree and i agree that choosing between muse and strange is so difficult because they're such vastly different books yeah Especially yeah like, home, like strange is this lyrical incredible thing and muse is much more plot and character and action driven and they are just such a different vibe but yeah mm. so good so good mm. oh. yeah i know because when i was like i obviously gave it five stars as well they were both five star reads for me but mm. I feel like reading it there the now I was like oh my god I like this one better but then I think if I was to reread them reread Strange I'd then be like oh wait do I like <laughs> because I've just read it and I was so into Muse it's like at the forefront right now but I don't I don't know if I'm I don't know yeah oh. bro you're unmuted and we can hear your audio <laughs> 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 yeah. no, How did she listen to it at that speed? That sounds like absolute know. gibberish. It's How fast is she listening it to? Listening to it. She was on like 2.5 earlier. Yeah. 2.5. 2.5. 2.5. Oh, 2.5. Okay. That's a so bit more. Mad. I, That's I bad do like enough. 1.75 at a push. That's that's still pretty fast. I usually listen yeah. to two, but I've been listening to audiobooks for a long time. I feel like I slowly bumped it up. Yeah. It, you, it stresses me out if they stop if they speak too fast. I can't enjoy the story because I'm yeah. like, look how yeah. fast they're talking. Yeah, I struggle to find that midpoint. <laughs> I struggle to find that midpoint between so slow that I zone out and so fast mm. that it's like stressful. Oh, it's a really yeah. niche mm. middle point, which I struggle to find. And it varies from yeah. how fast the writer speaks. Mm. Sorry, no. I, I, was trying to, I was trying to unmute you to listen, but I said unmuted my own mic. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Initial thoughts or final thoughts? Rating? Final thoughts. It's just, like, even better the second time round. Like, I, sorry, I, I didn't manage to listen to you guys' thoughts, like you two, because um, I was trying to... <laughs> frantically finish the last like, <laughs> um but like especially like 
the two different stories intertwining with Nora and Koba and, you know, basically Laszlo and Sarai, it's kind of their stories, but then also all the rest of the Gosborn. And then it's like, oh, but then Thion Nero has his own little story going on. Oh, Thion. And, oh, my oh, God. God. Just all just died. So yeah. up. And I just really, really loved. And I was going to say this, actually, because um, India, you clocked the, like, you know, portals and stuff. I did not yeah. clock. Oh, did you not? That row. <laughs> it's fine. I didn't say, I say too much. No, but before you say any more. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just, we'll get to that later. It's quite funny. We, I we'll not, probably get to that very soon, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I completely agree. It was so much better a second time around. I don't know why, but it just, it just, it gets better. I feel like partially because I convinced myself that I wouldn't like it. I was so nervous rereading them because I was like, really? I love them so much. Like, what if I don't like it anymore? Oh, and so yeah. I tried to like, limit my expectations. And I was like, no, this is just great. It is really good. It's and like, so it's good. the writing, the way the stories wrap up, like everything is wrapped. And then it's also kind of open-ended and it's just like, oh. And I, w I would say, Christy, potentially give it a go because it is such a vast- It's it really so different. Yeah, it depends. If you if the thing you really didn't like about Strange was characters or something, then yeah, fair, don't bother. But if it was yeah. like pacing, lyrical, and all of that, you may well like Muse because there's a lot more happening. But at the same time, we're gonna this won't be spoilery, but we're verging on that territory as a warning. Um, the thing I suddenly realized probably about four hundred pages in, three fifty, four hundred, I was like, there's not actually been like a big conflict or a big drama or anything it is still actually inherently very calm most mm -hmm. of the time you think about most fantasy books it's a big war and this huge threat there's yeah. actually none of that like the big threat has actually completely been assuaged before strange even started yeah, and yeah. It's experiencing the aftermath and i think that's a really interesting take and it is amazing how high intensity lady taylor makes it feel whilst it's actually not a lot of high stakes things are happening that's yeah really interesting it's like high emotional stakes yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially when minya is being the bad guy like in particular because yeah. it's like will will she actually let her soul go like jesus christ <laughs> yeah i think this is like what i mean by not being conflict though because like minya is the bad guy a bit Looks slight spoilery cora is the bad guy not cora nova is nova, yeah like the bad guy bit all of this but none of them are actually bad like there is no you know bad guy you're trying to get away like th there is no conflict like that which is just really interesting it's all yeah. just like, grief grief trauma like responses like it's it's so awful because you can sympathize with with oh, the villain yeah the story and it's hard to read like it, i remember i was saying to maddie at the beginning of the month i was like i'm not really in that headspace to read me yeah, yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> but obviously just finished it <laughs> <laughs> just as well. right i feel like considering it's the second book in a duology and for other reasons that make it even more so difficult to talk about without spoilers shall we get into spoiler territory and i will preface this now this is spoilery for strange muse and the daughter of smoke and bone trilogy yeah just <laughs> putting it out there this is the whole... spoilery for all of the above so please go carefully yeah um because yeah. it's so hard to talk about it without spoilers though all you could be like it's... is yeah it was good i enjoyed it it's yeah and that's, and that's why we're going to go some spoilers and we're going yes. to start with the thing i have been dying to talk about since what november last year when i first made you read <laughs> smoke and bone the, the same universe and they connect and it's all so clever and it's there it's in front of your nose for so like, long oh my god oh, yeah. i was so me. excited People have seen me in lives and in videos be like, oh, if you're going to read Lainey Tainer, read Dosab first. And I never want to say why, because obviously it's a massive spoiler. And some people talk about how they're in the same universe. I will never forget when I first read Muse and had my mind blown. I was like, I'm never going to mention this outside of spoilers because it's it's not worth it. Because yeah, I'd but never heard that. Yourself. I had no idea. I had no, oh, no idea. Man. I'm so glad that you had that fresh then, India. Like, that's yeah. the not a better feeling honestly yeah. it's madness oh 
it was that I, line that I sent you. Wait, let me find it. Let me find yeah. It. I know which one's going to be. It annoyed me, actually, because I obviously, when, when I started rereading Strange, well, obviously, when, when Laszlo gets there and they're talking, or, like, I think it's the journey, they're nearly there. He starts talking about angels and seraphim. Mm -hmm. I, when I first read it, no, no. Right. <laughs> this is this. This is this. I tabbed it to make a point. Page yeah. 11 of Strange <laughs> Dreamer, they talk about the seraphim defeating the demons. Yes. Page 11. And no one clocks it till page 300 of Muse. <laughs> I was so insane. pissed off rereading it. I was like, am I that dumb? Like, am I that dumb? <laughs> so many references. Like, how did I not see this the first time? There's but so India, many references to it. India, you know how you, like, clocked when Maddie was talking about page 300 and how they say mm -hmm. erects in, like, the lines. Yeah. Like, thy, thy I, when I first read it, didn't even clock because I'd forgotten that <laughs> erect was in dosab. I didn't clock till the very, very last line where Sarai goes, oh, you know, with the hundreds of worlds and hundreds of gods born, surely there's someone who can create bodies for souls. And that's what I oh thought. Yes! That oh my God! We haven't even clocked that! I didn't get that! They're traveling through worlds to try and find someone who can make bodies for souls. I'm not okay. And then it's I like did not get that. I did, another did time, not and I'm like, when? <laughs> oh. Yeah, exactly. That's a story for another time. The end, or is it? Give me more. Give me the next installment now. Literally, and she has said she is writing something that goes back to this world. I don't know where. Oh, she is. And she is. Oh, she is. Because I thought she wasn't. She, yeah, but... she said like, not the book she's me. currently writing isn't. But she has oh, okay. it. She is planning to go back to the world. I don't know whether it'll be a third in the same universe or connecting yeah. these two. Yeah. yeah. I remember I feel like a year, maybe more than a year ago, she put mm. up an Instagram post being like, I'm not writing anything right now to do with it. And me being like, why? I know. <laughs> Please. I think she's writing, yeah. I mean, these are kind of adult, but I think she's writing like an adult sci fi at the moment. I don't want anything she'll give me. I'd be really Literally interested. Anything. Yeah, I'd be really interested to see her like take on sci fi. Mm. Yeah, I need to remember that's what she's doing currently. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't. I, my mind has just been reblown. I can't <laughs> this is I can't believe that's the more obvious line. I thought. Yeah, it is. But this is this is the thing that really gets me. Is it like it does connect, but due to the importance of that world traveling in the two books, I feel like if you read Strange first, it may not have settled in as like such a vital part of the story that when you then read yeah. when you tie the two together. And also the line which India somehow didn't clock. Um, that line, if you read Strange without reading me, uh, without reading Dosab, that line would mean nothing to you. It'd be offhand. Yeah. So then when you read Dosab, you won't realize how connected they are. Because you may not There's remember that because it's a throwaway yeah. line. It's literally just a, oh, maybe somewhere else we make me a body, which is a fair question to ask when all you are mm. is a ghost. Mm. I thought but it sounded so Knowing that we know someone who makes <laughs> bodies. I think. Can we just imagine Laszlo, the cinnamon roll, and Akiva, the broody, angsty person, meeting? Because I want the chaos. <laughs> um, oh I was going to say, when I was like halfway through Strange, like originally, when I originally read it, Lainey Taylor put up, I'd already followed Lainey Taylor on Instagram because I was like, I already love it. And yeah. she, I think Muse was just, had just come out. Mm. And she posted like, just like some fan art, but then she put the synopsis of Muse like in the description. I read the first line and it says, one a god, one a ghost. And <gasps> I thought, I thought that Laszlo was gonna die then, because obviously yeah. the is oh. gone. So I was reading Strange thinking Laszlo's gonna fucking die. And then <laughs> to Rai, and I was like, what? what? Really? <laughs> oh, well, at least I didn't completely spoil you then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's even more interesting. Fun. Yeah, exactly. Um, but no, it's just, oh. it's so good. And yeah. the relationship, the tenderness oh. between Laszlo and Sarai mm. is the most painful and beautiful thing I have ever read. I. Mm. How does Spoops not ship it? I just don't Spoops understand. Don't I disagree. <laughs> not give a fuck about Laszlo and Sarai. <laughs> They're so, they're, just, um, they're so beautiful. 
And I think the way she writes the scenes as well, she manages to make them look quite steamy in a way. Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. And it's not explicit, but it's just no, kind of something about the way she writes. It's so sensual. It's so yeah. sensual. More yeah. than it is. Mm. And, um... Mm. I, I clicked I clicked pause earlier like I was and I was at Jordan's mm. and when I clicked play again he had his headphones off and it was just like Sarai traced his nipple and Jordan was like what? <laughs> what are you I was like ah uh, nothing it's fine. <laughs> oh my god yeah um, there's but it was like when they were talking about how like Sarai can't feel things that she's not experienced mm. so they're like we'll just have to get you to experience it and then we can go into the dream and I can live it through you yeah. and he's like oh that sounds like hard work yeah. <laughs> Can't be up. Oh, they are so sweet together and just oh, it's just like when she's guarding Minya and she's like oh go sleep and he's like you think I'm going to optionally go away from you like yeah yeah no Go what? I like, just as if I'd ever leave your side ever again. <laughs> yeah. The way they speak oh. to each other though is so like even when they're like just them two and they're like bantering, I'm just like, oh, you're great. Oh, no. Like when uh, when he does the whole um like jungle in your room and he's like, oh, excuse me, miss, are you lost? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, I love this. Oh, so that cute. was brilliant oh my god when i was reading that i also love like, right at the end they were like yeah yeah guan is still wandering around <laughs> yeah. like, <laughs> oh, my god. Oh. i feel like fion though his development oh my book goodness is my favorite gay. the man is gay oh the man's gay, <laughs> the, man mean, is gay. the short story that laney taylor has written is thion and Ruza. I thought I it must be. So, basically, there's like, I like, one paragraph where he talks about how he's like staring I mean, at just him and knuckles like in the legs, and I was like, "Oh, yeah." <laughs> yeah. And he was, like, he was holding my hand, and then he let go, and I was like, "Fuck!" Like, wait, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what I find really funny though is whenever there's normally a cute moment, I tab it ink. That's always what I tab cute moments for whatever reason it is. Whenever it's Thion, I tab it green. Because it just makes me giggle because he's so useless and greens were used for funny. Because he was like, well, it wasn't really someone holding my hand, but also they were holding my hand. <laughs> okay, you're okay. Aww, you you can do the as right. well. Because they're like, yeah. oh, the taste. Because um, who is it? Calixti and Zara? Yeah. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, and she likes the taste of me. And then he's like, what are they cannibals? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is still the best line of the book, honestly. Really? But it's the fact that he says it to what Kate's D at the beginning. And yeah. then like right towards the end, when um Sarah's walking off somewhere, she just goes, Oh yeah, because cannibalism hasn't kept me full. Like, oh yeah, I know the stupid shit you say. Don't worry. Yeah. It's been yeah. past one. We talk. <laughs> we talk. <laughs> Just he's so sweet and so innocent, and he's getting such a better life for himself. And I love him. I, know, I feel like his like... whole arc is so believable as well. Like yeah. the bit yeah. where um, all the people are going up on the animals, and he's like, "If only I'd been nicer all this time, maybe I could have been on one of those." Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, he's he got proper FOMO. He's he's feeling left yeah. there. Yeah, but he like, totally oh, understands what he's done all that time, and it yeah, all starts. Like he's coming to terms with it. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I can't with these <laughs> fucking books. <laughs> I like, oh, this spoiled inside me. And then he relaxed for a bit. And then they were starting to be mean again. So he was like tense enough again. I was like, yeah. Oh. And sorry, then but... when he doesn't think he can go in, wherever they're going into, he doesn't think he can go in. They're like, fine, are you coming? And he's like, okay. I'm like, yeah, you can go in there now. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> it's just like, could you imagine halfway through Strange thinking Thion was cute? No, like, that no. <laughs> he was such a knob, though. Oh, with like stealing, <laughs> stealing the books and being like, "Oh yeah, I've done like loads of this research." Like, uh, fuck off. Then at the end, though, when he gives miracles for breakfast back to Laszlo, and he's like, mm -hmm. "I'm really sorry, I didn't bring your books with yeah. me." <laughs> He's like, it's even when he, when he gives Minya the little bit of 
thing. Yeah, and he's oh, like, like, well, this like, oh, is I can help. <laughs> yeah. And it's so him like cute. tripping over himself and he's like trying to get out of his pocket. And it's yeah. just like, oh. And then he presents it like, like well, will this help? And he's like, yes, this he just enough. saved the day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bless oh. him. He is great. So, um, who cried when Cora and Nova had their little reunion near Oh the end? my god. Who cried every five pages from page 300 onwards? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jinyu, that was so um, beautiful. Oh, she, when she's mm-hmm. just like, because it, it's like the, it's the lyrical, like, the way that Ellen say, like, my darlings, my vipers, and like, as well, she's like, Nova, my heart, my sister. I'm like, ah! ah! Yes. <laughs> I can't, Stop I can't it. With it. And she's just like, oh, I, I came to you all this time and like I waited for you. And, I, and I'm just sat there, like, as if we are Sarai in the corner watching it happen. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it was too much. And then when she just lets go and she's like, there's no reason for me to be here anymore, sort of thing, I was just like, oh, no, stay. <laughs> oh, honestly, it's too much. I'm literally tearing up right now. That is so beautiful. Like the way that that's built up the whole way through the book to to the reunion is just yeah, so good. Because you find the connection between Corico and you know when she first shows up in like Minya's dream versus like oh shit that's Corico and then yeah and then, oh, uh, uh, and then <laughs> the end and it's just like oh that's really sad actually yeah. Oh. But I think as well, like the way they were able to talk from both her and Minya, like the way they both came good at the end, mm-hmm. again, that was so well done because it all completely made sense. It was totally like believable. realistic. Yeah. yeah, believable. That's the word I'm looking for. But yes. um, this <laughs> realistic, no. The same with <laughs> um, the bit where they described Minya when she gets the other parts of herself back and like yeah. the reason that she was so angry all the time is because she'd given her loving, nurturing parts to the Ellens so she couldn't yeah. feel that anymore. I was just like, <laughs> too much. Oh. She was just so good at making you love characters that you're meant to have hated. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. I think Minya's my favorite character. Just like the whole way she's written is incredible. I so think well I felt that way immediately after finishing it as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I love Minya's not Laszlo is still my fave. Nothing will ever beat Laszlo for me. But boyfriend Laszlo. <laughs> yeah. Not even that, because I love him and Sarai too much. I'm just obsessed with him as a person. <laughs> but Minya is just fascinating and so cleverly done. Mm. And when they named the baby Laszlo at the end. Oh. It'll, it'll be years before he meets his namesake. I was like, oh God, stop! <laughs> 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 and oh. then Errol Fane and Azarine get married again. They start again. And then. Oh. <laughs> it's all too much, honestly. Like, <laughs> we, so haven't much much about, we haven't even talked about Errol Fane and Azarine dying in a loop yet. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. It's fucking horrific. It ah, is. I just like draw the <laughs> from that scene. I remember. And the mentality like, of Nova choosing. Choosing them with the opportunity not to, because like when she yeah. was you know, really stressed, I'm not saying she should have killed them originally, but yeah. she was like not with it. It literally says like she's not sane, she's not aware of what's going on, and then she comes back around and has the opportunity to change that. And I think that's the moment when you realize like just how brutal and hurt she is. Yeah, and it's she's like too far is gone. Going to be any redemption from this? Is there any way? Mm. It's one thing I loved in this series and also actually really liked in Dora Smoke and Bone, though it was less so in Dora Smoke and Bone, is Lainey Taylor will find any way to resolve a conflict that doesn't involve killing someone. Yeah. yeah. Like the message throughout both of her books of pacifism and like anti conflict. Hmm. I just love it. If you think about a fantasy book, you could normally come out of the back of a duology and list 60 characters who've died. <laughs> Other than Nova, who literally sacrificed herself, and then the gods who died before the beginning of this, I think everyone makes it through by hook or by crook. Yeah, yeah they all come back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I feel like that's quite a point because yeah. the impact that those characters have throughout and the stories have throughout is just as much without killing off half your cast. Yeah. Mm. And shows that the conflict can be resolved without killing people. She doesn't. 
such a way though that's like you fully believe that this character's not going to come back like yeah. you think like and, and even now if you know reading through the books of his i'm not going to go in thinking oh but she'll always bring them back i probably will mm -hmm. still just fully believe that they're okay. gone he does it in such a good way because like in in other books i hate that trope like that trope yeah oh yeah pisses me off because you can tell when it's going to happen and it mm. just happens for no no good reason like no plot no, no plot reason no actual good basis behind it whereas this has you know um oh God, what's the name sparrow has like been trying to nurture her power throughout trying to push her power so then when she finally tries to do it properly it makes sense yeah. <laughs> it just makes sense exactly <laughs> No, it always yeah. really impressed me, especially in Dosa, with like, you have a whole book built on a resurrection trope, and yet I still believe you when you kill people. That's <laughs> yeah. <quite impressive. laughs> yeah. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> like, but she writes all of the deaths so emotionally as well. Oh, so like the way she yeah. does it, you're like, oh no, this has to be the end because you wouldn't spend so much time making it so emotional if they were just gonna come back. So you're like, well, this is the end. Oh wait, no, they're back. I'm, I just, I'm having trauma flashbacks to Ziri. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> say. Yeah. That's oh. the iconic one. That is the one that stays mm. with me. Literally, the whole thing where Errol Fane's like, I wish. And then she goes, What do you wish? And then they die. And I'm like, Ah! Yeah, and then it keeps happening. <laughs> yeah, and and then it's the line of the irony of what he would have wished for was then to start again, is in starting a new life. But instead, they're just dying over and over. And I was like, that's not yeah. fair. This no. is not good. <laughs> I'm not straight. I'm not having a good time yet. <laughs> <laughs> Why are these books so good? Oh, honestly, so good. sometimes I just think, like I've read nothing like it. Like it's yeah. kind of like, it's so unique. Like I, I think similar to Brandon Sanderson, like I've never read anything like Brandon Sanderson. And mm. with Lady Taylor, I've never read anything like Lady Taylor. It's just so good. Yeah. The way she writes is so unique and I just want more. <laughs> I, want I know. I really want to I read still... her debut, but one day. Is that the I'm one that's like really hard to get hold of or impossible? Yeah. Yeah. I'm determined to track down a copy one day, but it's not easy to do. Mm. It's like about fairies, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, so. I feel like she would write that well. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, the amount her writing came on between Dosab and Strange. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of intrigued to go back another step, but also kind of nervous. Also, the light is being massive. Um, <laughs> turn around that way a bit. Imagine. That was another thing, though. Like, although this one was so action packed and like more a bit more plot driven I guess the writing mm. was still absolutely beautiful and there were still so many lines that I read and I was just like oh yes Lady yeah. Taylor so many one liners <laughs> yeah you read them and you're like how did that come from your brain it's no. too beautiful yeah the thing great. I find with Muse is even though there are nice lines in it I think I notice them a lot less because I'm so much more like just want to know what happens next and just yeah I don't know if my camera being a pain is going to show this is it gonna it's not gonna it's that's oh, my yeah, it's like that, yeah and then this is my muse oh wow, wow. like that's so I just, nice. yeah i think because i'm so plot focused i just don't pick up on the writing in it as much it is yeah. very such a page turner because you're like yeah. oh my god what the fuck because i kept i kept wanting to read more to find out more about nova and cora because i was like wait yeah. what happens next with them <laughs> yeah. and there's big <laughs> gaps between seeing information about them See when the two converge though, when they come through the barrier thing and it's just like, whoa, and now they're both in the same place at the same time. I was like, what has just happened? Yeah. Oh, it's not blown. evident for so long how those two plot lines are going to converge no. and why they are converging. Like, you know, yeah. you know who Cora is and why Nova's trying to look for her. But even the thing of like Cora being the reason that Laszlo was sent away, like yeah. all of it, it's like, how is this all going to come together? And of course, it does beautifully. Yep. Yeah, I want to know more about what happened to all the children that were sold as well. I think I want they, to know where they, they are. If you revisit this world, I wouldn't be surprised mm. if you're like kind of following one of them in some regard. One of them, and yeah. It comes together mm. a bit. Because did people come from? I I wasn't quite sure. I don't know if it says specifically, but did people come from all sorts of different worlds to buy the kids? Yeah. It was. Yeah, it was just so. like from. Yeah, I was gonna say. 
that's what I'd be curious about in like a further sequel, whether it would be set like on the world or whether it would be set on a different world. A different but world, yeah. Children. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that would be a, a different that. world, yeah. When yeah. they when you found out they were sitting in cages waiting to be sold to be bought, and one of them was it was it Rook or wait, one of them was like on his own as a five year old sitting in this yeah. cage getting like zapped so he wouldn't use his power waiting to be yeah. bought, and I was just like no, horrible, brutal. Yeah, that moment though where Sarai recognizes them. And yeah. he realizes, like, like, oh my god, these Kiska? are Kiska, and Kiska's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> Tori yeah, would have obviously been a baby when Kiska was there. Yeah. It's, it's just the green one. eye. Like, thank God she had that one like trait yeah. that she would have known yeah. it. And then they're and like, then when, Minya? <laughs> yeah, when they see Minya, like, that's when they totally change. They're like, oh wait, no, this changes yeah. everything. I believe. What do I do now? Oh, there was a line when they were discussing that because they were like, oh, is it Minya or is it Minya's daughter? I don't know why this line hit so much, but it was, they did the mental maths basically and like we have discovered that Minya would have had to have a child at age 14 or 15, so that's Minya's daughter. And then it said like, which would have been uncomfortable but not unlikely. And I was like, mm. it just shows how ingrained this really questionable like mm. ethics is throughout everything. And I just, I yeah. just, yeah. Oh, do you think if she does another book in this universe, we'd find out who Thingy's child is? Is it Zuh 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 Helen? Zuh What's her name? Zuhaila. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because she's looking for her child, isn't she? I yeah. cried when they said they were going through the ledgers trying to work out like where her child may have been sold. Yeah. Just oh when she was like well what am i gonna do around here i need to go mother all these kids on this ship yeah <laughs> was like they need cake i need to bake oh. them cakes so i was like oh, oh. <laughs> she's the best i love her she is it's she so funny as well when they first go up in like muse first go up to the citadel and like you know azarine's really cautious Elfane's quite cautious and she's like where's my granddaughter yeah no. yeah I'll bring her to me <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm, the one thing that makes me sad is that Sar I want to see Sarai and Errol Fane like have a relationship, kind of. Mm. And like, obviously, yeah. Sarai's now gone off on this quest, and I'm like, well, I kind of want to yeah. see that. Be cute. Well, they see Laszlo meets Laszlo in a later life, and they Rude. say that he meets they his half sister, that. so they must meet up, mm. have a little family gathering. That would be cute. Yeah. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so good. Literally, what happens? I feel like we we all not that many things, like, things to the end, and then we jump to the middle. Because yeah. <laughs> bits just pop into your head. And you're like, oh, that bit. Yeah. It, this is what I'm saying. Though it's a surprisingly slow book. It feels much more action and plot driven, but there's actually still surprisingly little that happens. Yeah. Mm. I understood, understood like I rem remember when like Minya and and Lazlo were in a proper like like near the beginning when they're in a proper like impasse basically and like when Minya's like literally halfway to letting Sarai's soul go and it's just mm -hmm. like oh my god is she what? actually gonna do it yeah I was oh, like mm -hmm. obviously I, this is a reread now so I knew she wasn't gonna do but when I first read it I was just like is this bitch crazy? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? She spent his whole time raising them. Is she gonna waste it now? <laughs> well, it was... about... Sorry. I was gonna say, it's the other thing, like, you, we were saying, even with the resurrection trope, it always feels like it's gonna happen. Yeah. I said, it's a reread. It doesn't feel any less like it's gonna happen. Even, like, for example, with Errol Fane, I remembered that Sparrow saved Errol Fane. I knew that from first. It's one of the few things I didn't I did remember. That. <laughs> one of the few things I did for some reason and yet I was sat there when he was being killed like I having to consciously tell myself like you've read it that doesn't happen like yeah. he's so good at writing it oh um I wanted to say about how when they first take the the ship and Laszlo's with them and Laszlo is literally going out of his mind like Sarai is going to Evaness if we don't go back. 
give them some mazathim. Like, I'll come with you, but just give them, like, pendants, anything. And he's literally, like, grabbing his hair. He's, like, so desperate. And I'm just like, yeah. I, love I love him. I know. And at that moment as well, when Minya was losing her power, I was like, oh my god, she, she's, this is going to happen. Sarai's actually going to go. I really didn't think there was any coming back and then Thion saves the day. Yeah. But... It was just great to see Minya as well come back from like, I mean, earlier on she was like, I'll let her soul go. And then yeah. she's like so desperate to save her. Like she literally, yeah. she, she relinquishes control basically. Yeah. Yeah. To save her. And it's just like, oh. She yeah, when it's the like the image of her just letting go of all the strings yeah. and just letting everyone go so she can hold on to that one strip. Oh, <laughs> the thing I was really intrigued about, which only really crossed my mind when we had that moment with Thion, like giving them the Mazathan, mm. is where Cora and Nova are from. Obviously, it was like a ritualistic thing, Scathis or someone would come test for power. Yeah, like a military and thing. Yeah, huh? it was like a military thing. Yeah, which gives the impression because they were like saying oh everyone has a power it may just not be significant yeah so why do all the humans from weep not not what have any form right. of power because they're not from that world but was that specific to that world then yes yeah. Nova? yes okay. yeah that's their world and then mm. it just happened to be that when they procreated with humans <laughs> from what's that world called? I don't even remember. Is it Melis? Uh, I yes. But anyway, but it happened to be when they procreated with the humans of that world, which are the ones with the two hearts. It, it says it specifically says like we were yeah. they weren't sure why maybe it was the spirit running through their veins but they, oh, always, yeah. Yeah, they always created really powerful kids which is how they could sell them off yeah no i remember that it, it was, I was just also that. yeah the the whole concept of the two heart thing as a medic found very interesting yeah, <laughs> yeah it's really like cool. cool. yeah. yeah. i i think it's cool i like the idea of having like yeah. spirit you don't like get i feel like you don't often get stuff like that you don't no, get no. much weird. yeah like weird anatomy yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or slightly different to human anatomy yeah. 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 i guess if someone's got a tail yeah. or something but yeah not in internal organs <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah i think it is interesting and yeah. it like makes the world kind of i mean obviously there's like magic and stuff but it makes it different so. yeah yeah well, it's yeah. very unique i mean that's mm -hmm. true. If you had one way to describe Lainey Taylor's will and writing, it would be unique, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's always teeth. There's always teeth. Teeth. Always yeah. teeth. But in Every the chapter, book. I think it's like chapter 13 is called Teeth or something like that. Yeah, yeah. it's the bit where um, Minya makes Sarai bite. Yeah. Last bite last bite. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd read that chapter the night before and you posted that screenshot. I was like, oh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know what's about to happen. Oh, I, um, I don't know, India, whether whether you would have looked at this in detail, but this is the map of the worlds so that they talk about. Oh my god, um, I did not yeah, look at that. that. There's a code uh, thing in the back, and you can translate oh. it. So you can see what worlds are in what order. Oh, yes. So yeah, there's this in the back. Oh, but it was so well explained though how they were like they said it was like pages of a book and you had to pierce yeah. through the page i was like that makes so much sense like well done yeah what i find really interesting though is Melis and eretz mm. are next door to each other are you for fucking mm. real <laughs> <laughs> Are they? They are. They're the first <laughs> two on this diagram. Sorry, I've been sat here. I remembered it's a bloody pain. There's in there anyone who's got first print UK or US, um, there's mister it's a mistake. It's wrong. It's spelt wrong. Oh um, but it is the first two, I think. Yeah. I can check. So where's Earth? Do you think that um Oh Eret, yeah, not Earth. So then it must it's so yeah, so it's mm. Les Eret, then Earth, I guess. The one next to it is five, but I don't think it would spell Earth. Interesting. That's weird. But then Eretz has 
Obviously, they the angels got to Erex from somewhere, didn't they? Because it was just the, the Chimera that lived there originally, wasn't it? And then they invaded. Or am I wrong? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. In my head, like, yeah. Erex and Earth were always next door to each other. Yeah, they have yeah, to be. There's, there's portals. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, true. Because yeah, yeah, because they always said there's like a front door and a back door, so you have to go through yeah. one and through the next to get to the next one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought they were linear, but then I swear. Yeah, no, I thought they were linear, so like you had to go through them. Why right did the angels? Maybe the angels. Oh, but the angels did come through. Yeah, they come through in order, right. and then they had to like close Obviously. off the chaos behind them. That's why they got stuck. Yeah. yeah. So they brought Obviously things. They did them. come through Malise because that's why Malise has the. Seraphim. Stories of the Seraphim, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Oh, and then they just got to Eretz and were like, right, we need to cleanse this place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, if I remember correctly from Strange, they were out running something and they got trapped in Eretz. Oh, they got they, trapped. Like, because right. they, I don't know, found something bad, which ended up following them through the portals yes. and they ended up having to shut a portal off. I remember that. Stuck. Yeah, it was like blackness or something, like literal, like the yeah. And it destroyed oh. all the worlds behind them. Yeah. That oh my god. There's still, I feel like there's still so much. There is so mm. much. I would really love her to just do like a novella of mm. that original exploration. Yeah. Like all the worlds they've gone through and what exactly happened. Because I know we've had parts of it in different books, but I'd really love yeah, to see it. Yeah, it's just like bitty. I'd love to have consolidation. She could literally do so many series within this universe. There is so much scope for. The oh, unfortunate give thing it, is it takes her five years to write a book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I can see why. But yeah. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. I also, I feel like I've seen she, like, does she start by, like, handwriting stuff? I don't know. Yeah, if I'm yeah she handwrites a lot. Yeah. But Not the whole book, I don't think. Because she only has, no, like, no. two panels per book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, she, I, I, um, was it an interview for her for the release? of Muse. It was really interesting and like someone said, you know, obviously you write quite slowly, why is that? And she said it's because she writes a sentence and then spends two weeks trying to make the sentence really beautiful instead of just writing more. <laughs> and she cannot break out of the habit. <gasps> I've forgotten about that. this. The annotations! I'm gonna die. <laughs> when are they due? Is it July? Like They're meant to ship beginning of June. Oh yeah, Christ. Like, soon. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Two days. <laughs> Two days. <laughs> also, also, about the whole two hearts thing. Um, I know it's definitely not the point, but when Cora was like not releasing them, and they were like, "No, we need her to release them before we kill her because otherwise they're trapped in the Mazarchian." Yeah, I was like, "No," because because Thion could extract Laszlo's spirit and like melt them out. He could. Oh. Just saying. <laughs> I mean, I want to know how Just she got the kids out of the cages in the first place. Pardon? Like, how did she get the kids out of the cages in the first place if they were Mazarchian cages? <laughs> That's a really good word. <laughs> Mazarchian cages? Silence. Were they Mazathian cages? Do we know that? Because there'd be no I reason for them to be. They were in the the wasp ship, right? No, I think. They were... Oh, were they not? Were, were they, they not transferred? Yeah, yeah. Through the little island, though. Because I think they may have just been cages with like Mazathian people, but made of Mazathian. Mm -hmm. well, let's not think about it's... it too much. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> I just, I cannot contemplate Lady Taylor having a plot hole. Mm. I know. It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I, I also thought that the spirit thing was a figure of speech, though. I feel like I vaguely remember yeah. thinking that when I first read it as well. I was really surprised when I read it this time because I convinced myself that I'd spotted something so clever <laughs> because um, Laszlo had two hearts. And I was like, oh, that's a reference to him being special. And then when he turned out to be special, I was like, <laughs> everyone has two hearts. It's literally just like, yeah. I'm just so proud of myself the first time I read it. And then this time, and I've always been proud of that. And this time I read it and they said, everyone has two hearts. And I was like, oh, I missed that. Um, so really, you're not that smart. 
yeah. I do. I love that thing as well of like you can live without any spirit, but you're so not a person anymore when that happens. Mm. I just love that whole side of it. It's so interesting. Mm. The only other thing I was going to mention, I'm going back to Binya, sorry, but she's my fave. No, um, when Nova steals her power and yeah. is like absolutely mm. crushed with the weight of it and like yeah. Minya suddenly feels it lift. Like, I don't know, the way Lily Taylor wrote that, you could feel how like heavy that power was and it blew my mind. Just yeah, that's so the well first done. time you get empathy for Minya, isn't it? Of yeah. like, oh, she's actually dealing with a lot. <laughs> yeah, like she's constantly holding that. Mm. Yeah. But oh, yeah. I was. I remember panicking, being like, "Well, what if she just lets them go? Like she's holding her power. What if she just let them go?" I would be like, <sighs> "I would be like, oh my god, is she gonna let them go by accident or something? Like Jesus Christ!" Yeah, I didn't even consider no that. She had yeah. no control at all. She was so overwhelmed. Yeah, so overwhelmed. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I think then that Minya was really, can like... feel it more when she takes it back, can't she? Because yeah. she'd gotten used to it and then having it taken off and put back on again, she's like, oh, God. Because she said God. that she had yeah, <laughs> she had built it up slowly with each yeah. soul that she took so she could tolerate mm. each amount of weight rather than having it all come at once. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And uh, yeah, I feel like it was really impactful as well seeing Cora, not Cora, Nova, have to give up the other abilities she was borrowing, stealing, yeah. whatever, because it was so much. And it just really showed, like, this is more than one person should be handling. And, and that's incredibly why it was, strong person at that. That's why it was even more brutal that in that moment when she was so crushed by that, she still waited those extra couple of seconds so yeah. that they would die before she gave it back. I was like, yeah. oh, absolutely brutal. Ugh. Also, when Minya lost her tooth, Oh, yes! oh no! <laughs> little baby tooth fell out. Oh. She's like a part of my body fell off or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because that must be so strange because she's, she's, she's seen it happen. She completely understands it, but for her, it's an alien concept because she just yeah. stopped growing yeah. for fifteen years. I just oh, thought even yeah. that is so beautiful. The way she had knew she couldn't take care of these little babies and children by herself, so she had to create the Ellens mm. to do it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, she breaks really my heart. Yeah, it's so really sad when yeah. Sarai goes into the the dream and realizes that the Allens don't love them. Like that's yeah. not the Allens; mm -hmm. it is Minya, and it's like yeah. all a lie, basically, to them because they obviously think it's these lovely women. <laughs> but these yeah. women are like, ew, gross. We're gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kill you, like Jesus. <laughs> The fact that Minya killed them, though, I was like, I remember reading it first time and being like, oh my god. Mm. Yeah, she that whole image of, like, it wasn't sweat on her hand, it was blood, and that's yeah. why their hands were slipping. Like, At age six. Age six. Mm. But that whole dream where she's, like, covering up the babies and hiding them, and then Sarai brings out, and she's like, no, no, you have to, you have to hide them. I'm like... Oh. Yeah, it's literally so heartbreaking. Like, oh, every part of this book is heartbreaking. Like Literally. <laughs> And also, like, weirdly wholesome and happy. Yeah, it works yeah. out at the end, but... Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I do appreciate how the last 15 pages are both heartbreaking and so happy. I'm like, I don't know how you've done both, but thank you. Yeah. yeah. True. And I think as well, as horrible as Nova's death is, it was the only... Like, she wouldn't... She couldn't have stayed in that world. Like, she wouldn't have been happy, it, like... It was a relief she, for her. She'd been wanting yeah. to do that for 200 years and she finally was basically given the permission to give up. Yeah. Which she'd been searching for for 200 years. Like, she never intended to be the one to go out and save people. She was willing to call it quits before any of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We're all just like... <laughs> I know. I just keep thinking words. about it. I know. Yeah. This is one of those oh. books that you get a book hangover from. Oh, I'll be yeah. thinking about it for days. I was so scared to read something else after reading these the first time. Yeah, same. I know. Oh. How am I supposed to go into contemporaries after that? <laughs> well, I feel like that's enough of a change that's actually like, all right, if you try yeah. to do another fan, yeah. it's not going to match up. Yeah, light and happy. Yeah, but I feel like the romance isn't going to be as beautiful. It's not. Nothing ever <laughs> will be. Nothing ever will be. 
<laughs> we need to grill spoops on how she doesn't see it. Because I don't she's understand. fundamentally wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Yes. Oh. So they're just so gentle and genuine and tender and it's so cute. And also mm -hmm. so bantery as well. Like Yeah. Yeah. They've got it all. They've got the mm -hmm. perfect relationship. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate it. Hmm? I said apart from one of them being dead. Yeah, there's yeah. The, there is that. Yeah. yeah. That. Anyway, yeah. What were you saying, Katie? I was going to say I really appreciate the kind of gentleness of the relationship because I I know that these books are kind of they're not like strictly YA, but I feel like a lot of her audience is, are probably people who read a lot of YA, and often the relationships in that tend to be quite toxic. Yeah. yeah. But this one's just really kind of sweet and gentle, and I think it's yeah, nice. Like, even with Akiva and and um, Karu, Karu, there's like a bit of a he's done yeah, some yeah. Oh, yeah. But Lazlo and Sarai is just so pure. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I just remembered another moment when Errol Fane sees Sarai and like is just reminded instantly of what's her name? Isagol. Is a goal, yeah. Is a goal, yeah. And then she smiles and he's like, oh no, that's so pure, it's not is a goal. And then you yeah. switch to Azarine being like, and it looks like our old fane, and it's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! So cute! Um, like, he may not have seen it, but they could see his smile in her, like, don't do that oh, to me. <laughs> I can't go. And Even like, when they say, the first thing that they're just like, she's like, daughter, and she's like, Father, <laughs> and it's like it filled a hole in her, and then it's like his hole had already been filled with so many miserable things, but it dissolved those and made him whole. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. I can't. It's too cute. It's so good. Oh. I feel like I don't have any more thoughts. It's just. Oh. It's just. <laughs> I'm, I feel exhausted. Yeah, honestly. I'm drained from all that emotion. It's a lot. So Did you all finish it today as well? Yeah. 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 We all finished it on the sprint. <laughs> Obviously you saw me do it, but they finished on the sprint. Yeah. Yeah. We all finished in the last like two and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> Organization. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, I love that comment from Chloe. How uh, Laszlo when he like locked the door so that only, I think it was so that Feral and Ruby could get in. He was like, "But I know I'm gonna have to change it about a hundred times yeah. every time they fall out." Like, I love that. It's so good. I love at the end as well that like Ruby's just like, oh, "New men." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and um, what she says to Sparrow, she's like, "So you can make things grow." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like priorities, <laughs> almost everyone has died, dude. But it's also like she's like first disappointed because someone's his, her brother because he's hot, and then yeah. keeps trying to get with Sion, and then eventually gives up because he's not interested and keeps hiding yeah. behind loser. Because he's yeah. gay. <laughs> yes, we know, Ro. We know. Oh, but yeah, when it. she's talking, when she's talking about her boobies, and then um, Sparrow's like, "If you grab my hand, I swear I'll make them smaller." Yeah, yeah. And then he's like. <laughs> And like, it's Farrow goes, I'm not touching your breasts. And Farrow goes, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's such a sibling relationship, isn't it? It's oh, just it spot really. on. Really I love good. all the little bits of humour. Like, there's just little bits here and there that I genuinely laugh yeah. out loud at. Because I'm just like, oh, it's a good moment, that. Yeah. yeah. And a necessary moment. Yeah. Mm. Like, the, yeah. also, the, um, the vibe between Thion and... Kalik's Kalik stay? Yeah. Kalik's day. Yeah. The vibe between them and the way she just so basically good. like bullies him, but like yeah. in the best way. And he doesn't she even really know what's going him. on. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's great. Oh, so cute. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> right. Does anyone have any closing remarks before I sit here and sigh for six minutes? Like <laughs> No, I'm just emotional. Just emotional. Mark is just that I want more writing from her. Like I literally yeah. just want the book. Mm -hmm. It's been two and a half years since Muse came out. It has I just so want more from that world. I just I want to know, know. everything. 
One day, one day we'll get it. We'll get more. And I want all the special editions of it when it comes out. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, all of mine are chilling over there. Literally, your your full Lainey Taylor shelf plus more than that shelf could now. When the Lit Joy ones arrive, I'm going to be so mad because they're not going to fit. You're going to need a whole Lainey Taylor bookcase. But two shelves of that one currently are. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> anyway, should we call it a day on the final live show? Ooh. Yeah. That was a happy live show. It was a very happy live show. Very, very upbeat, very lively. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Thank you so much to everyone who's read these two books, all five books, whatever, with us. We've had a phenomenal time. I think yes, we've we have. made you discover a new favourite author, which I'm very happy about. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we will see you all, I don't know when, at some point, I'm sure none of us are going off the internet anytime soon. So. No, no. We'll see you around. Yeah. It's something else. Probably. <laughs> Bye, Bye. Bye.